Hey everyone, okay, I am so excited to get this started because I thought it would be a really fun idea. So what I'm going to do right now is show you how to make a lip scrub at home. It doesn't use ingredients like beeswax or things that are harder to find in a store. And I've been using this one for quite a while and it works really well. Um, I would also recommend doing this um, before you put on a lipstick because you don't want skin to be under your lipstick and stuff. So. I usually just eyeball it, but for other purposes, I got this just to kind of measure it out how much. Okay, the things you're going to need is a container that will seal because if water gets in it, it could get unwanted bacterial growth. So make sure you get one that seals. This one just snaps down. So a little container. You're going to need um, extra virgin olive oil and cane sugar. You can also use salt. Yes, yeah, salt for this, but sugar tastes better than salt, and this is what's going to be scrubbing your lips, this is gonna, what's going to be moisturizing it, so let's get started, shall we? So what we have here is the container. We're gonna st I'm going to start with the sugar because if I start with the olive oil, the sugar will stick to the measuring thing. So I'm just going to add one tablespoon of sugar for now into here. One tablespoon. So that should be enough sugar. I will find out. And then I'm going to take the olive oil and we're going to also do one tablespoon into there. So now we're going to mix it. Okay, one tablespoon was not enough sugar for one tablespoon of olive oil. So I would say do two tablespoons sugar with one tablespoon olive oil. You want it to be, let me think what kind of, so you want it to be like almost a paste, not, you don't want it really thin. Here we go. This is what you want it to be like. It's really thick. Okay. So now that we have that made, we are going to use it. So, for purposes that I'm not in front of a sink, I have a wet towel here to get it off. But what you're going to do is you're just going to literally scoop it out onto your hands, that's a lot, and put it onto your lips. And you want to scrub it. <laughs> it's going to make a mess, obviously. Okay. Normally you just wash this off with water, but because I'm not by a sink, I'm not going to. And that's how easy it is to use this stuff. Once you're done, put the lid on. I would say try to use it in a week. And that should last you a while. But after a week, just dump it out, make a new one. I don't have I forgot to bring chapstick over here, but after you use this, be sure to put chapstick on to seal in the moisture. And that is honestly how easy it is to do this. If you want to read directions, I will type it in the description below. But I also will have it typed up on my blog. And thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy this. And I will be coming out with another one. I'm actually going to record it right now. It'll also be coming out today because I was a little behind on videos. And it's going to be a banana face mask. And it's super easy to make everything you should have in your house. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, or subscribe. I would love if you could subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.